Well, good evening. This is our last session of the blended learning webinar series um, sponsored by the ATF. And my name is Catherine Uslan, and I'm one of the three amazing people that were with us here that started this idea. I'm a teacher on Mount Vernon, Washington. So on the West Coast, just uh, two hours north of Seattle. And um, a lot of us are connected in many ways. If we're on French teachers in the US or if you're on Twitter, however we know each other, it's great to see you tonight. I'm gonna pass it off to Catherine Ritz. Bonjour, salut, bonsoir, uh, Catherine Ritz. So I'm at Boston, hi everyone. I'm at Boston University, so I'm Catherine East Coast and excited to see everyone. Um, I, I teach methods now. I uh, taught French and, and also Spanish for many years and now working with people becoming language teachers. Uh, so nice to see everyone. And uh, Susie. Bonsoir, je m'appelle Suzy Hennessy. I'm also in California on the, on the West Coast. I teach uh, French at an IB school and spent many years teaching French college level and happy to be here and see familiar faces. Bonsoir tout le monde. Super. So tonight is kind of free form. We do have some, some ideas that we're going to share with you. We didn't have any prepared videos or anything because we're just closing out our series. We started the first you know, time that we have a webinar for the ATF was back in March, and here we are in October. So, neuf mois, huit mois, it's almost as though we have uh, brought life into this world. And we have, <laughs> we have had some major challenges. We've had some impressive successes. And as we boucle la boucle, right? We're gonna boucle la boucle because we're not done, but we need to say, like, we, let's take what we've gathered and experienced and pull that together and, and give some final ideas. We're gonna have a few breakout rooms tonight. Um, we're gonna give you a chance to share materials in many ways, because that's what we do as French teachers, we're sharing. And I wanna just run you through a few of those. Um, you please use the chat liberally. We're gonna save that chat and put it in um, the on, on our notes. So we have, uh, you'll have the recording of this, of course. And we've got, let's start out with just where you're gonna find all of our materials, right? So keep your fingers crossed for La Nouvelle Orléans. Literally keep your fingers crossed. I'm not sure where that's going. Um, there are many, many um, people to, to work on that. So if you go under the resources tab, I always wanna point out that you have the K-12 job postings. And that's something new I wanted to highlight for you for the French, um, teachers who are looking for a job or who have a job to share. So you, if you have an opening, you can click there and there's a quick little form for you to fill out and you can share the post with a link or with an idea. Or if you're looking for a job, you can click on the little red dots and that will give you ooh, two wonderful posts here in Washington state where our teachers are paid very well. Thank you. So come on up to Washington state. We need you. Okay, so another thing that you will find under the resources tab is the webinars and professional development link and when you go in there you're going to see all of the webinars so this is the fall webinar series we just had um one on le quebec that was last week and i'll show you where to find those and then uh november 5th i will be doing an ask catherine anything uh <laughs> i've done those before where it's just a it's a free-for-all of good times but it's it's also about learning how to contribute and collaborate together and using technology to build thoughtful units of design uh, design units um if you're looking for any of our past webinars from this series there's module one all the way back on july 28th <gasps> tonight is our anniversary oh my goodness can you remember that night i was in oregon with my family here we are here we are so august 18th we did the moving interpretive to interpersonal and then the assessment and presentational writing. And then we'll put a link here to the reflections. So each one of those has the slide deck and it has the video on there. And um, we have all of our, our guests and the videos that they created and shared with us. Thank you, Michelle. You are here tonight. I see that right there. So if you need to go back and review any of these. A couple of other thoughts tonight, I'm going to share with you a link and this is to one of our wakelets. I'm gonna put it in the chat for you and you can use it now. I'm gonna make sure that you get it in other ways. You know that I'm that person on, on uh, French Teachers in the US who says, would you like to share it, right? This is um, a wakelet we're calling the Banque de Ressources. 
and these are shared and teacher created resources. So anything that you make, if you've got a Pear Deck or Google Slides that you've designed for any type of unit, Seesaw, Gim Kit, Gym Kit, I don't know what it is, Quizlet, Edpuzzle. What you're gonna do is now that you have that link, you now have permission to add to our Wakelet. Okay, and you notice that there's, it's in there, um, please add your link and edit the post with the pencil so that you've got the level and theme, topic and your name. So if you go to the little green pencil up here, it says edit collection, okay? And you scroll down and find the section, it's there labeled right there. So some people look, there's Jamie Sutton, she's from Oregon. I'm gonna click the plus and paste in whatever it is that you want to share, okay? And when you paste it in, you see that little pencil right there, it says edit, she put the level, she put what it is and she put her name and then you can now click on that and use her materials. So once you're done with that, once you're done, there's one more thing, there's a little green box up here, it says done. Okay, and then when you click that, it's done. And so that's our first one for any um, Banque de Ressources thing set that you wanna share. Like I made this wonderful, beautiful little thing, that's where you can put it. There's also um, one for choice boards and Bitmoji rooms. If you want to add to that one, I'm going to invite you here. Oops, let's make sure we can click on that. Gives me a moment of peace, thank you. So when you're contributing to this, it's the it's best way to, to really put things together so that people can find them and not get all frustrated on Facebook going, where is it, where is it? Or I've looked for everything. It's just a happier way. Okay, so I believe, there, I'm gonna, I'm gonna copy paste it the old school way, right? And there we go. And that is for anything that you've done like choice boards, bitmojis, other prepared units of learning. So like more meaty stuff. One thing that I shared was my Bibliothèque Virtuelle, which I made with the help of another teacher. Um, so I've got these for my students. Um, <clears throat> some things are scanned and I say that with a smile, some things are scanned and you can understand that I want my students to interact with them. I'm trying to be respectful of um, uh, copyright, but some things are also just links to um, um, PDFs that were sent to me by the actual company. So any students, anyone can get this. This is the Journal des Enfants and it's a whole beautiful actual, it's, it's pretty well done. It's maybe for intermediate learners. Um, so they've got that and I've got other magazines up there for my students right there, plus um, le Mon Quotidien and I've got a couple of playlists for them and then I've also got a reflection which I've noticed has been really helpful for my students to kind of track what they're doing for their reading without being feeling like to have to do a book report and so hopefully you've got something like that for your students so that they can go and learn. Um, I want to thank Madame Majorie Blatry who shared her two pages of her um, uh, Bibliothèque Virtuelle. These are all links to YouTube videos, okay, with those stories um, being read by native speakers. So that's beautiful. And then there's one more. So I asked her for permission if I could incorporate those onto my Bibliothèque Virtuelle. She said yes. And so now I've got three pages for my students to um, work with. So those are the types of things that you would put on our, on our wakelet, right? We also need pinners. If you are a Pinterest person, you know that the ATF is putting together all of these Pinterest boards. If you need books, if you need more books for your students, these are great ones to share with them. We try and make sure that they are a variety from around the, the French speaking world. And then of course, our last thing that I always try and present is our YouTube um, playlists that are organized thematically. So we have the ATF and program literacy, uh, program advocacy and National French Week. So, you know, National French Week stuff is coming up for the media contest if you wanna look at the past videos, okay? And then we have global challenges and that's not the AP level, it's just, that's the theme. And then everyday life, ads, holidays, sports, activities, everything, right? There's tons and tons of playlists for you to look at. 
But if you want to help add a video to any of those, you write me an email and I'll put you in as a collaborator. Um, someone asked um, today on Twitter if I would um, give them the login. And I said, ah, no, not the login, but I can make you a collaborator on Pinterest, YouTube, and Wakelet. So just knowing these few basic ideas, what are your first questions about finding or contributing to our resources? You can, um, if you wanna put your hand up or if you wanna put it in the chat and I can call on you, and that way we can keep everybody um, speaking at the same time, from, <laughs> keep everybody from speaking at the same time. I always wait just a little bit longer, right? Because teachers were thinking. And while you're doing that, I'll just show off the other Wakelet collections. So recently with uh, Samuel Paty, right, the attentat that we had in um, near, north of Paris, we've decided to put something together um, that's more coherent for les attentats. So we have videos and articles and infographics for that if you're interested in contributing. If you're looking at any of the région, We've got a whole bunch of beautiful collections for your students or for you for resources, for um, looking at the different regions and tourism, history, uh, patrimoine. Um, AP teachers, we always have those resources for you and I'd, I'd love to see more AP teachers contributing. And you can keep going down, down and down on the Wakelet and I'm gonna put the Wakelet in the chat for you so that you can open it up and see what Oh, you haven't been on that Wakelet? Yes. The, and that's why I would say, you, you know, if you go to the Wakelet and just poke around a little bit and see what there is or look on the Pinterest. Now, whenever I make a Pinterest board, I make the Wakelet board because um, some people prefer Pinterest, some people prefer Wakelet. I'll do both. I'll do all three. Let's, let's just make it happen. You don't have to. And you can tell me which one you prefer. So any questions on that? I take a moment to take a sip. All right, we're going to do our first breakout room, and this is just going to be on some, uh, here's my question in the, the, the chat for you. Would you prefer to vent first or to be proud first? Vent or pride? <laughs> That's a big question, which I, sometimes I feel like, hmm, should we do pride, points of pride? You know, let's, let's say, I, oh my gosh, pride, probably vent. Ooh, I like that, probably vent. We have that option. I'm gonna make this everyone post uh, publicly. I'm sorry about that. It was um, just for the host. Okay, well, we're gonna put, we've got um, about 30 people. 50, oh, we jumped up to 52, mon dieu. Wow, thank you for being here, bravo. We'll put you in and I would like you to share some challenges that you've had. Um, we're gonna have maybe like a minute to two minutes for each person. You can, you can release. But when we come back and we do the next breakout room, we're gonna try and stay focused on positives in our next step. Is that is that okay for everyone? Can we do un pouce? J'affirme, je suis d'accord. Okay, after that, we'll work on our next one. For right now, let's get everybody in, probably about five to six people, so it's intimate. En français ou en anglais, ça, ça c'est à vous de choisir, okay? So take about, um, we're going to take about eight minutes for our first breakout room. Vent carefully. Okay, go ahead. And boom. Registrement. Alors, on va passer une autre... Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Oui, bonjour Katia. Oui. On va passer un autre sujet maintenant. Donc là, on va vanter un peu. On va dire, hey, j'ai bien fait. J'ai fait quelque chose dont je suis très fière et j'aimerais partager. So my question for you would be like, do you have an activity on the cloud or that you'd like to talk us through just by visuals? And what we'll do is if you can put that in the chat, I will open it up and then you can unmute and share out. So I'm gonna give you a few seconds to look on your Google cloud or if there's something that you can share with a link that you'd like to say, look at this amazing thing I did or look at this pretty darn good thing I did or look what I did to survive and it worked, right? There's those three levels. Like it does not have to be published worthy. It can be like, I got up this morning and it worked. That's a great feeling. So I'm gonna give you a moment to search. I'm gonna share out as well. And then I'm asking, um, what I'll do is I'll put it up on the screen for you. 
and then we'll ask you to unmic and you can talk us through i'll click through through for you like uh maybe in a few seconds okay so we'll give you that and while you're looking and you put it in the text i'll throw up that this is something new i've worked on but I, like i said i'm going to give you about a minute or so to look And if you do have like a Google site, you want to share that in the blog, uh, so share that in the, the, the link, I can pull it up and we can have you talk about it. Um, it's easier if I share the screen, just so we don't have to go back and forth with making people hosts, etc. Okay, we have one beginner. Okay, and that's going to be Nicole. Write this down. Okay. Okay, so at one point, Michelle, I'll have you uh, on mic after we get through a couple people and talk about that. Susie's got something. I'm going to put her up here. Oh, yeah, Susie, good choice. Okay. So usually we had our presenters showing you things, and now we're putting you on the stage because you need to be recognized. Susie, it looks like I can't get in there unless something. But Susie, you can share your screen because mm -hmm. you're So So sure. we'll, when we get to that, okay? Okay. Okay. Um, thinking, it. yep. Uh, yeah. Ooh, Kristen has an idea. Okay, I'm gonna write down Kristen. Okay, and then Heather, I've got you. Okay. So far, I've got a couple of links and some great ideas. If you would like to be on the spotlight, that's a wonderful moment. Okay, but I'm gonna make sure I can write it down. Okay, that's a really good idea, Laura. Thank you. Put that up there. Okay. And Laura, if you can send a link that has the permissions, that would be helpful for us. Thank you. Don't worry about that. It's unusual when we're sharing out of our, our context. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'll hit the mute on that. Don't worry. Everybody's going to vote. I know. And we'll cue that up and be ready for, this was from Laura Polk, okay. All right, um, let's start out with Nicole. And Nicole, if you want to unmute and I will put this in present and you can wanna talk through us through it and tell me when to click. Sure, okay. Um, bonsoir tout le monde, moi je m'appelle Nicole Tartaglia, je viens de New Jersey, uh, au nord, juste à côté de New York. Uh, je suis enseignant de français à high school, à Manchester Regional High School, held in New Jersey. Je suis la seule prof de français de là. Um, C'est moi et je suis très fière d'être un Falcon. Um, so one of the things that is always sort of forefront in the minds of uh, the, the staff uh, at Manchester is that we have a lot of um, lower to lower middle income um students and families and internet can be an issue. And we have lots of wonderful resources online, uh, but internet reliability has been a huge sticking point because in New Jersey, our Department of Education has been talking a lot about the fact that if we're doing all of this and we are all virtual right now, um, every student has to have the same access to information. Um, and one of the best ways for me to do that is I have all these wonderful online resources. We have a completely integrated online book. We use Biazi, it's nothing crazy, but um, it does bring it to a level where the students um, are comfortable with it. And so we have worked very hard on what we call digital workbooks. Um, and so I take information from the workbook, uh, from the, the textbook, the ancillaries, the audios, the videos, um, I use Screencastify to make videos for myself, and that's just me on the left-hand side going, hi, welcome to your digital workbook. Every time you run into a red square, you're doing your work here. And it allows me to do basically virtual notebook checks, assign homework. Um, I can download the videos from the text, the audio from the text, and basically it's a fully, and you can keep clicking through, uh, Catherine, 
Um, it's a fully integrated scenario where I do everything. This is, you know, here, that's the work. The page before was a video of me logged into the text using Screencastify, basically in about an eight minute video doing walkthrough lessons. So if they can't make it, if their internet goes down, I tell them save this as something that you can get to off line mm -hmm. um because equity is is the hugest thing and make no mistake these these lovelies take a couple hours to put together um i you know again it's i can unlock all the um access to it and so there's an audio that we can do and, and they're just screenshots from the textbook and then they're writing and then going a little bit above and beyond and so it just allows them to go all the way through and when they're done all the way at the end they stop they take a quiz they write a little bit for me um then they have this that they turn in for a participation grade and the last slide is actually a test grade mm -hmm. um, and as we're coming up on the quarterly exam when i send these back i say okay there's your review and they have everything they need and they can watch these videos from the text or they can watch the video of me doing the walkthroughs from the text um, anytime or as many times as they need to um to boiling it down is how i get from real names to some pronouns um and so yeah there's the test at the end um and then they turn it in and so there's little grades throughout and you know i do notebook checks and it's that that's a half a unit sitting right there in just a couple of slides and then typically what i do is i use these slides in conjunction with nearpod Mm -hmm. And I gamify the activities through Nearpod to do corporate review, doing virtual synchronous activities. Um, so, and it's quick. I mean, it's a, it's an add on through Google and I do have the Nearpod version of the slide presentation. So if you use BNZ or if you just like the idea of an introductory, um, I, you know, you've got this and I can send you the other, but this has taken up a, a big portion and especially where we're talking, um, in New Jersey about how they're going to be doing observations um, uh, for us. A, a lot of it will be portfolio based. Uh, and so these are a huge help. OK, première chose, on va applaudir Nicole d'avoir partagé son travail. Super, merci, bien fait, wow, wow, wow. OK, so here's my question for Nicole. Shall we put this on the wakelet? Or is this something you'd rather not? Ah, so, OK, so that's what I'll throw you out there. You know, you can think about it. You can send me an email. I'm happy to share. Absolutely. I, I, the, the facial gesture was just, um, I'm, I'm humbled. Thank you. I will make sure to unlock all the videos. Uh, thank you. And you know what, what we say about that is, um, I'm going to spell your name like T-A-R-T Talia. Okay. Is mm -hmm. that, um, we, this is, this is so we can show it in action. So we're going to go to edit collection, right? And, uh, you've got that link and this would be like, um, actually, I want to go back to the other one, the other, um, because this is a prepared unit, right? Yeah. So let's go back to the wakelet and go to Banque de Ressources. Okay, so this is the one with prepared units. If you can click on that and you will find this later, so you don't have to go searching around and wonder, oh, where's that link? It's actually going to be on the choice boards and it'll be on the, um, in the section and I'll put it there in a few seconds. So, merci beaucoup, Nicole. Absolutely. Okay, so we're going to scroll down here. And there's quite a few of these. So you're going to have to scroll until you find where that section is right here. I'm going to put her on the top. I'm going to paste that link in. And we're going to just, okay, so she's got a lot of that information up there already. And then we'll put her name in this. Oh, T. A -R -T -A. Yeah. Did I spell it right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, oui, absolutely. Okay, so that's what we do. And then we hit done. And now she is famous. Okay, so now you have something shared. And that's how we want to push this out to show, show you how easy it is to share. Okay, so our second person that wanted to share, uh, let's look at my is Michelle. Okay, Michelle, what do you what do you want to share out? Em Emery. Sorry, I thought I clicked the button, but it, that's okay. Down, it downsized right then. Um, I just wanted to share that an idea that, and it depends on everybody's own personal connections, but that Zoom is a, I, and I keep having to remind myself that Zoom is a fabulous 
way to have people come to our classroom. Normally, it's there's a lot of constraints about school rules and people who don't live close and we don't have money to you know, pay for transportation and get them places. And Zoom, we can Zoom people in from around the world. Um, and uh, so in the spring, I had one of my former students who was, uh, who got repatriated. She was doing TAPIF last year and she got repatriated and she was twiddling her thumbs at home and said, hey, madame, can I visit your classes? And I said, sure. And it worked fabulously and the kids loved it. And they all said, we never heard of TAPIF. What is this thing? This is, and she you know, had pictures and everything and we had somebody else come visit about the Peace Corps. And the kids thought that was fantastic. And they had never heard of the Peace Corps. And I'm like, how can you not have heard of the Peace Corps? And, um, and so, and this person had been in, I forget, Togo, I think. I think they had been in Togo and they were at the end of their run, but also got repatriated quickly and was looking for something to do. And so they had their pictures and everything was all fresh from just three weeks or four weeks before when they'd been repatriated. And um, we just attended two of my advanced classes, attended my, another graduate is um, in college right now. And he said, hey, Madame, um, Azuz Bagag is visiting our class on Tuesday. Um, and I'll ask my professor if you guys can come. And I was like, sure. And so they sent us the Zoom link and a whole bunch of my APs and French fours got to listen to Azuz Begag for, for an hour live and ask him questions. And uh, tomorrow we have an environmentalist that I've been tutoring for French over the summer. And he said, you know, I'd really like to present in French on the environment. And I said, well, you wanna to talk to my AP class? And he said, sure. And so tomorrow he's going to be presenting a unit about the environment and answering their questions that they've already prepared. I gave them the same articles that I had given him over the summer uh, to read and study. And so they're gonna have this great conversation and he's really looking forward to it and so are they. So just to remind you all that, um, and, and I did the immersion weekend in Maine over the weekend and we had, um, we had people from France, we had, uh, Again, it was a former student who was studying over there of somebody that they'd lined up, uh, the host family of the organizer that she'd been in touch with for 20 years. So people can participate from all over the place and it's and you can have the kid, you can have the kids prepare questions ahead of time and whatnot. But just a reminder that that that's the great advantage of right now. Mm -hmm. uh, there are advantages. On applaudit. Merci beaucoup, Michel. Bravo. Merci pour le partage. Okay, Claire Lessam. Did I say that right? I feel like oh, I should. It's Latham. It's just Latham. A... Yes. Got do you me. still dance? Uh, I do. <laughs> okay. I have seen you yeah. dance and it is amazing. So what would you like to share? Um, well, um, I, as I was saying in my breakout group, I'm, I'm in that situation where I have um, simultaneously, we're calling it concurrent learning, where the, <laughs> you know, like a third of the class on Zoom and the maybe two thirds in the classroom with their masks on. And so um, one thing that, you know, that I came up with on my own to kind of address the issue, I was having a lot of problems with the Zoom breakout rooms and people really being able to hear each other's, um, you know, speaking. So in a way, like I lowered my standards. Um, it's not really very, you know, like it's not incredibly interpersonal, but I found a way where um, pretty quickly they can, they're all given like a little prompt and then everyone can listen to it with decent sound quality. And what I do, I mean, I shared the whole slide deck, mm -hmm. um, uh, but um, the thing that I thought might be of interest to other people is using the handy website Vocaroo, www.vocaroo. Mm -hmm. They, it just has such an easy little recording tool um, turns the recording, which has to be very short. I'm not sure how short it has to be. I think just a few minutes or something, but that's fine because these are our novice, I mean, the French too, and I would call them, you know, the not super strong French too. So they make their recording, it's a URL, and then we just put it on one, one slide, mm -hmm. and then it just makes it easy for the kids at home um, they don't have to listen to it over the weird speaker thing and they can listen to it conveniently at, at home um, and um, and the kids like it because they have none of them want to speak you know spontaneously that's mm. the big challenge but they have a little moment I try to make it time pressure but they can sit there and kind of like formulate what they're going to say 
and practice a little bit and then they have to go ahead and record and do that. And that's such a great thinking ahead. Like what about our students when we're talking about that equity to access? And I noticed that too, that my students today, when I was talking to them, they're in these, their, their microphones are bad. Their headsets are bad. What can we do to make this good for them? One awesome thing about Vocaru now is that it's not flash-based. So you can use it on your phone now. And that's huge. Oh, Plus that's a brand new thing for them. So um, Claire, is this something you would like to share on our Banque de Ressources? Um, you know, sure, as long as, let's see, this one didn't have, if I had given you the slide deck for the other class, yeah, these kids, they haven't done it yet. Mm -hmm. I would be a little reluctant if there were like student recordings, right. I don't right. know about, but there's no student recordings yet. So, so okay. sure, as long as okay. everyone's understanding, like, this is just what I put together Sunday morning right. tired. Right. It's and not that's what we need sometimes. Like, what's my idea? And I'll put that up there for you. So, on va dire un grand merci à Claire. Oh, oh super. Yeah, j'aime beaucoup. Okay. Um, so, let's see. We've got these ideas about how do we put this on there. Um, moments notice. My next person was Susie. Did you, do you want to share your screen? Sure. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm, uh, I'm actually uh, a Pear Deck user. I've been doing most of my lessons on Pear Deck, but then a friend of mine, um, Jean Girard, told me about ClassKick. And I don't know if you're familiar with ClassKick, but I started using it and now I'm using it for everything because I like it so much. So you essentially create slides and you can you do any sort of activity. This is an article on you know, Angel. And with the toolbar up above, students can highlight, they can circle, they can draw, they can record their voices. There's a, a microphone, there's a camera, they can upload pictures and take pictures. And so with this article, uh, they have instructions here on what to do, read the article and use the highlighter tool. So this is French one, very basic. And then further down, enter your answers in lowercase. So there are actually, I put little text boxes here so they can answer the questions. And what I like about ClassKick is that students can play with it. You know, they can use all the different tools. They like using the tools. Um, and then you can assign points for each slide. And so then this is the next activity related to Angèle, there's a link. I put in a link to her video, to Oublié. I'm sure you all know Tout Oublié. And then uh, they were able to comment on that. And I allotted points, you know, for completion. And then on the last slide, um, I want to know about one of their favorite singers. So I asked them to add information and a picture about um, their favorite artist. So you're seeing the, uh, the class uh, kick in the edit form, but once you assign it to students, you can watch them as they work. So you can go slide by slide and see exactly what they're doing. Um, if they have a question, there's an option for them to click the raise hand button so they can call you to their slides and you can chat with them to help them out. Um, what I like about it is A, that it's, it can be done in real time, but the students are going at their own pace and B, that you can see immediately if they need help, they can ask for help and you can help them out. So I just think it's it's really simple to use. And um, there, there are a fair amount of activities already in ClassKick. You can search the library if you're looking for an activity, but they're also very simple to make. It doesn't take more than 15 or 20 minutes. So that's just something that I wanted to share that's working for me. Uh, students seem to enjoy it. So there you go. And, and ClassKick is part of your, are you, you're a Google school, correct? We're a Google school, uh, but this is free. Yeah. Free for up to 20, I see that, and Jean yeah. tells us that. So that mm -hmm. is, yep, it's a gratuit, c'est gratuit. Mm -hmm. um, this is such a beautiful thing. I tried to, I, I tried to replicate it you know, the other day, um, doing it without the class kick thing, but I think I like this better because trying to fake it, just do something that's already made for you. Uh -huh. Okay, Adrienne, yeah. Adrienne, tu veux partager ton histoire, ta, ta chanson? 
Bouge pas, avec plaisir. OK. Alors, il y, y a déjà... Bon, moi, je suis un tout petit peu plus âgée que Céline. J'ai grandi très près de chez elle, même s'il y a des années que j'enseigne le français au Texas. Alors, j'ai suivi sa carrière. Et comme vous, ce n'est pas toujours facile d'enseigner. Est-ce que c'est le passé composé ou l'imparfait? Alors ça, ça leur donne 50 questions. Il y a tous les cas d'irréguliers, l'objet direct qui précède, etc., doucement. Et puis, il y a plein de liens qui nous amène à des spectacles et à des entretiens qu'on qu ne connaît peut-être pas sur la vie de Céline Dion. Alors, c'est un bon devoir. Attention quand vous le copiez, parce que plus loin, j'ai mis toutes les réponses. OK? Alors, si vous choisissez de le partager avec vos étudiants, eh bien, coupez-le. OK? Mais j'ai mis de la couleur, bon, des, des trucs de Dr. Mrs. Van der Trump, etc., là, qui nous permet de voir. Alors, j'ai mis 50. Je ne sais pas comment ça fonctionne pour vous au niveau des points. Et puis, je me suis beaucoup inspirée de Céline Dion.com et aussi de, de, de ce que euh, moi, j'ai vécu, là, il y a longtemps que je suis fan. Alors, je vous l'offre. Euh, chapeau à tout le monde et courage. Moi, je me trouve bon de... de de poursuivre avec ténacité. Merci d'être ici. Super. OK. Merci. On, a, on applaudit. Merci beaucoup. C'est déjà sur... C'est En fait, vous avez trouvé cette chanson sur le, le Wicked qui s'appelle... Juste une seconde. J'arrive. Ah, OK. Voilà. Donc, c'est uh, Shared um, Teacher Created Resources. So, c'est le deuxième. OK. Donc là, c'est en bas avec Other Teacher Created Resources. Alors, on va poser la question. Est-ce qu'il y a d'autres qui veulent partager? Il y a Kristen. Kristen, c'est toi qui as partagé la chanson euh, Facier? Non, non, j'ai partagé quelque chose avec toi dans le, dans le chat privé. C'est juste une image d'une de, de, activité Nearpod que j'ai faite. Oh, zut. Alors, est-ce qu'il y a le lien? Pardon, une seconde. Donc, ton, 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 ton. Oh, c'est dans le chat privé. Oui, pour toi. Kristen, on va chercher. Donne-moi deux secondes. Kristen Andrews? C'est ça? Benjamin. Benjamin, il y a deux. OK. Donc, Benjamin, oh là 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 là. Tu peux, tu peux m'envoyer encore? Oui. OK. Donc, euh, qui a partagé la, la farie facier? C'est moi, Nancy. Oh, Nancy. Vas-y. What would you like to say en français et en anglais? So, je suis trop paresseuse pour faire une activité, mais j'adore ce, ce vidéo. Je ne sais pas si on veut partager pendant quelques minutes. Nous sommes en train de faire une workshop sur um, social justice. Alors, pour nous, ça, ça a été très, très utile. Wow. OK, là, comment je vais partager ça? Donc, je vais, je vais changer numéro un, le compte pour ATF. Et je vais l'ajouter dans une playlist pour oui. la justice sociale, c'est ça? C'est parfait. Ok, je vais, donc. Je vais euh, regarder le playlist aussi. Uh -huh, tout à fait, parce que là, je me demande s'il y a quelque chose de spécial que vous avez trouvé. Ok, là, vous voulez euh, ETF avec 2400 abonnés. Ok, là, on va choisir euh, la, 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 la um, diversité. Ok, et je vais trouver dans une minute. Mais là, je vais ajouter aussi à notre Pinterest votre euh, da, 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 da. on va le mettre comme ça so, c'est plutôt diversité c'est ça le racisme, la, la diversité on va racisme. ajouter oui, Boom. Il donc parle ça fait partie de, de son expérience ok c'est parfait, merci Et beaucoup je change de nom, qu'est-ce que tu vas changer ah wow, wow, wow. ok, so là, on va terminer avec il y a quelqu'un, Kristen Benjamin voilà, je l'ai trouvé ok, ouais. Kristen alors, c'est à toi de partager. Bon, merci. So this is, it's just a screenshot of a Nearpod activity that I did. I got very overwhelmed this summer by all of the different things that I could be doing with technology, um, but I found Nearpod to be pretty, pretty simple. This, this is a, just a collaborate board. Um, it's just a screenshot of my Nearpod screen because I couldn't do better than that. Um, but it was for AP. So just to initiate the activity, I have, um, we're a boarding school and I have most of my students in the room and I have one student in Spain and one student in China. Um, and so we have to really make things accessible for all of our students at the same time. Um, and the, they attend live in person from, from all over the world. Wow. 
Wow. And um, so this was Les Inventions Les Plus Importantes de l'Histoire Humaine. So they have just a couple minutes and everyone from their phone, from their computer, from everywhere, throwing stuff up on the board. So yes. So then we talked about, okay, like, pourquoi est-ce que le smartphone, c'est une invention importante? Is avocado toast actually an invention? Is it really good? Yes. Is it an invention? No. <laughs> um, and then we led that into our discussion of the science et technologie um, theme for AP. Um, so just, I like the collaborate boards a lot, though, because it really gives kids um, a chance to just throw ideas up there and not really worry so much about like, is my grammar perfect? Is my idea perfect? Um, but then afterwards, following up with questions for the students who put the different ideas up. So I like that. It, it's very easy. Oh, this is beautiful. Now, if there's something that you can add to our Pinterest table, right, that that can go mm. with that, we've got a good start to um, mm. women, especially I go for women around the world who are um, who are inventors and uh, entrepreneurs. So entrepreneurs. That is a beautiful idea is how do we get our students to see more of the world around us and and like go beyond as we called it the beret and the baguette approach right we've got more to offer our students. Okay, I'm going to do one more is there someone else that I missed it's Regina. Regina do you have this, this is what I want to share with you, can you talk a little bit about this. I think she's still on. Oh, let me check. Let me check. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tostos avocat. Regina, let's go. I'm going to put this in there as an option. Okay, maybe she is off the call already, but if we, if she's on there, we'll grab her um, at a later moment. Uh, yes, so everything, everything is going to be saved. Of course, this, the, remember the chat is going to be on our actual um, website from the ATF. So if you go to orangeteachers.org, right, and you go into the resources, um, you're going to go to webinars, and on the webinars, when you see that date, right down here, all the chat and the video will be both there. So that'll be set up for you, so making sure. All right, we have so many things to share, and if you can get it on to one of our wakelets, or if you want to share something else without, you definitely contact me. Um, let's see, is there anyone? I want to do this before. Ingenial. Felicitas. Do you want to share? Oui, euh, brièvement, j'arrive pas à upload mon document, mais ce que je voulais vous dire, si je peux partager peut-être mon, mon écran une seconde, je peux vous montrer. J'ai développé une, simplement un formulaire par semaine parce que j'enseigne je, euh, tous les niveaux. Je, on est deux profs de français. Je fais l'allemand et le français. J'enseigne je, du niveau 2 jusqu'à AS and A level Cambridge and AP French. Et j'ai souvent tous les tous les niveaux dans un dans une classe mixte. Okay, Alors bon. je me suis dit voilà comment je peux renverser ma classe pour décharger et faire les les, les étudiants travailler plus les les, les différentes compétences. Et je les ai j'ai créé une grille où ils doivent tous les jours Écouter, visionner ou lire, ça c'est leur choix, sur RFI Savoir, un jour une actu, TV5 Monde, euh, une, un titre de nouvelle, ils doivent que... ensuite sortir, pardon Vous voulez partager maintenant pour qu'on puisse voir Attendez, je vais voir si je peux le trouver, où est-ce que je t'ai mis, grille d'écoute, c'est simplement Word Document, je n'arrive pas à vous, le, à vous le montrer, ah peut-être maintenant. Je travaille avec deux écrans, donc je oh suis là parfois là, un peu... Ouais, bon. ouais, j'essaye, voilà. Et puis, où est-ce que je t'ai mis? Est-ce que vous arrivez à voir mon Word document? Oui, tout à fait. OK. Oui. Donc, c'est simplement banalement une grille. J'appelle ça ma grille d'écoute. Ça couvre les cinq jours de la semaine. Toutes les, tous les jours, ils doivent remplir chaque, pour chaque jour une nouvelle qu'ils choisissent en couvrant, bien sûr, AP Team ou AS ou A-Level Thème. Donc, ils doivent coordonner ça, ils doivent analyser quel thème, dans quel thème ils se trouvent, c'est la politique, la société, la nourriture. Ça, c'est eux qui choisissent. Je ne veux pas leur dicter. Mais par contre, ce qu'ils doivent faire, c'est formuler à la main. Je leur demande de le faire à la main. Je suis exigeante là-dessus parce que je ne veux pas qu'ils Google Paste. Ou s'ils le font, ils doivent quand même copier à la main ce qu'ils ont Google Paste. Donc, il y a quand même un effort d'enregistrement. De, Donc, ils doivent ici, euh, ils doivent euh, me dire, ils ont l'article la, ou la, le podcast ou la, la, la vidéo a duré trois minutes. C'était du thème de 
société et les jeunes, parfois plusieurs thèmes, bien entendu. Et là, il va formuler « j'ai appris que mmh. », premièrement, deuxièmement, troisièmement. Donc, il y a, euh, au niveau, en, en fonction du niveau, il développe cette partie de plus en plus. Je leur ai fait un script au début et chaque année, puisqu'il me retrouve pendant deux, trois, parfois quatre années, évidemment, je peux construire sur cette grille. Et puis là, ils doivent exprimer comment je trouve ce reportage documentaire. Ils doivent exprimer leur opinion. Je leur demande de me donner deux ou trois adjectifs. Pourquoi Ils doivent justifier pourquoi ils trouvent cette nouvelle choquante. Et évidemment, il y en a plusieurs qui, cette semaine, ont, ont regardé sur Samuel Paty, la discussion sur la liberté d'expression. J'ai trouvé ça cho choquante, horrible. Je leur dis, ça ne suffit pas, dis-moi pourquoi. Donc là-dessus, ils doivent développer un raisonnement. Et ensuite, euh, ils doivent, euh, donc ils remplissent cette grille et je la recolte, je la fais renvoyer toutes les fins de semaine. J'évite comme ça qu'ils se copient mutuellement, chacun fait sa propre grille et ils doivent ensuite, euh, à la fin de la semaine, m'envoyer un enregistrement audio où ils racontent leur grille d'écoute. Qu'est-ce que tu as entendu je, Lundi, je me suis concentrée sur cette nouvelle. Mardi, j'ai appris ça. Mer, mar, mercredi. Et là, je vois bien sûr des niveaux, euh, des complexités différentes, mmh. mais ça les entraîne à lire, à écouter, à visionner, à écrire et à me parler. Et donc, en une grille, j'ai couvert pratiquement toutes mes compétences, tout en les forçant à rester dans les nouvelles, à suivre ce qui se passe, à regarder les nouvelles. Donc, je leur ai donné une liste de tous les liens euh, qu'ils peuvent utiliser, le monde, le machin. Donc, et depuis plusieurs années, je pratique ça. Je dois dire, ça ajoute énormément de vocabulaire. Je peux tracer du début de, 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 jusqu'à la fin d'une année. Ils développent un, un bagage de vocabulaire malgré eux. Oui, oh wow. Encore un grand applaudissement. Merci beaucoup. Merci. Alors là, on va arrêter et on va. Bon. Ah uh, non. So, uh, là, on va copier. Donc, on va terminer. On, il nous reste trois minutes. Uh, là, j'allais partager une dernière activité pour vous. Et c'était pour présenter du nouveau vocabulaire. Donc, je vous invite à cliquer sur le lien. Et on va voir là si tout le monde est là. So, ça, c'est pour discuter le thème. Est-ce que tu es touriste typique ou voyageur engagé? Et on va discuter les traits de caractère. Et donc, vous allez trouver, il y a pas mal de diapositives où vous allez mettre vos noms. Donc, vous allez choisir une, une diapositive pour écrire votre nom. Okay. So, je vous donne une seconde pour faire ça. C'est une idée de classe kick, mais c'est différent. Et là, vous allez changer le view pour grid view. Et comme ça, je peux voir tous les élèves qui travaillent en même temps. Ooh, it's nothing fancy. It's just an idea. If you don't have time to prepare something, you can always make a Google slide that's open to everybody. That um, it's everyone can be an editor. And then they have the activity and you can see them working. I can see each person typing their name. I can see their little icon. Okay. So we've got that. Et l'activité, ce qu'on va faire, ils vont décider si le mot, le, vo le vocabulaire est positif, neutre, ou ils ne savent pas, ou c'est négatif. Et ils vont glisser les mots hein, sur le tableau. Donc là, c'est une idée juste pour euh, une expérience pour que ce soit plus collectif, pour que vous puissiez voir les, les, les élèves travailler ensemble. OK, so ici, un élève qui ne, tra qui ne travaille pas, tu sais, bah, vous savez tout de suite et vous pouvez envoyer un petit message. Hey, 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 hey. Je ne vois pas que tu travailles en ce moment, comment ça glisser les mots, etc. Donc, vous voyez avec mon écran comment on peut voir les, les diapositives. Et ça, c'est View, Grid View. Et c'est rien de spécial, hein? OK? Donc, so, ça, c'était juste une expérience. Je vais partager le, toute l'unité bientôt parce que j'ai des définitions. Et ça, c'est un, un jigsaw activity avec les élèves plus avancés. Et donc, ils vont utiliser um, aussi, il y a des révisions de vocabulaire et pour écrire et pour enregistrer. Da, 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 da. So, wow, on a partagé. Oh là là. 
The reason why I did it this way today was I wanted to make you the stars to put you on the spotlight and say, you are doing fantastic things. You have no idea how proud it is just for me to, to know all of you. I feel such pride to know that we are working together and that we're collaborating and that we can share our materials in a place where they're fixed. You don't have to go looking through 50 different posts, right? That's if there's anything that I'm, I'm going to beg on my knees is that you please take advantage of this and I will make you a collaborator. You can say, Catherine, I want to work on this wakelet or I want to do this. Um, I have to let you in individually. I'm thinking of making a private document so that it has all those join codes. But of course, I don't want to put those out on the Internet, right, because then we would have stuff from all over the world that we don't need. So um, it's it's up to us to make this a year where we are feeling successful, that we know that there are people like us all over the United States doing the same thing and in the same situation. All of us had that moment of venting, and then you saw, saw this moment of sharing. We know that everybody's trying something new, and that's just one little idea can spark a fire. And I said that the other day on NFLC. So um, this is our last few minutes. Um, Catherine uh, Uslan, that's me, Catherine Ritz and Susie Hennessy put this together after an ATF meeting. And um, I'd love if they wanted to share their, their final inspirational thoughts or at least words of courage for you. Catherine, you couldn't have said it better. I feel so inspired. And I was in the venting, I was ready to vent when this started. And now I'm like, like buzzing with excitement right now with all the resources that were just shared. So yay, you guys have all made my night. French teachers are the best. Yes. <laughs> Susie, do you have anything as we as we draw to an end for our series? I'll let it go. It's um you'd be surprised by anything like if it's not your style then it's not your style if it's something you've never tried and you want to we're, we're here for you we're listening and we want to say take a moment look at the people on the many different pages and um if you want a okay so i'm going to talk about the uh list the um the certificate i'm going to send out to the emails that you all provided me the link to the uh, form to fill out and then you will get the certificate within a week. If you don't get it, I will try and uh, poke uh, the ATF uh, national people and see if they can help us out with that. I appreciate everyone's patience for getting their certificates in the past. And, oh, okay, I'm not gonna do the half hour tonight because I have been overwhelmed with um, a cold recently and I've just been sleeping a lot. So let's unmute just for a moment, everybody, or on camera and just wave and merci et bon courage. Merci On va s'en sortir. Bonne nuit, bon Bonne courage. Nuit. Merci, Merci à tout le monde. Bon courage. Merci à Catherine. Bon Merci. 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 À la prochaine fois. Oui, à la prochaine. Un grand bah, merci le 5 novembre. Merci, c'est le 5 novembre pour le prochain. <laughs> Ask Catherine anything. <laughs> <laughs> OK. So the truth is that I stay on a few seconds just to see if there are any actual questions, but shh, c'est secret. <laughs> on November 5th, we have another, um, the ATF has a webinar and it's um, for, it's kind of like an Ask Catherine Anything. And I'll put the description in the chat if you're interested in participating. Um, there it is. And then the link to register is also on this page for the ATF website. And what date is that? November 6th or 5th? 5th or 6th? 5th, okay. Le 5th. Le 5th, d'accord. Ah, uh -huh. donc les voilà. So, c'est juste uh, parce qu'il y a toujours des questions après, mais aujourd'hui, je voulais juste féliciter tout le monde pour uh, les efforts incroyables des professeurs ici aux États-Unis et du monde, autour du monde. C'est vraiment formidable. Ce que vous êtes une inspiration. Non, vous tout le monde est une inspiration. Oui, mais quand, quand vous regardez, bien sûr, c'est tout à fait une juste, inspiration. Qu'est-ce qu'on peut faire pour euh, soutenir les autres? Oui, c'est ça? Oui. Ah, oui. Mm -hmm. Mais tout le monde, merci. ça va bien, assez bien chez toi? Innocente? Oui. Oui, oui ça va. Ça, ça va, va on, est en train de, on est en train de pousser. Mm. C'est un peu difficile, mais... 
Ça va, ça va, ça va aller. Quand vous êtes là pour notre inspiration, mais ça va. <rire> oh, mais il y a d'autres choses à explorer et pour le moment, on va arrêter parce que je voudrais organiser tous ces liens. D'accord, euh, d'accord. Donc, je crois que, que je vais les organiser. Je, je vais prendre une seconde pour réfléchir. Mais bon courage à tout le monde et bonne soirée. D'accord, oui. Ciao. Oui, à bientôt. Au revoir. <rire>